<laughs> All right, so let's start on some hard hitting questions because you're on the Rock Hall. Yep. Um, oh boy. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, there there's been discussion of what is rock. Um, I'm very happy to have Whitney Houston and, and you know some of these artists that people don't consider rock as into into the Hall of Fame. I mean, they're the personality they they've elevated the music form. So I'm very happy that they're in there. What is the discussion on the board of like okay? how are we going to, what names are we going to submit this year? And, you know, do we want controversy or is this rock and roll or is that even a conversation anymore? If this, you know, what is the, what is the, the discussion? Well, let, let me just talk a second about the process. Uh, I am on the board of the foundation and in that regard, I get a vote, but I am not on the nominating committee and that's where a lot of the action takes place. So there is a nominating committee chaired by John Landau. And there's 25 or 30 people in that room. I, I don't really know exactly. Greg Harris, my good friend, who, who is the CEO in Cleveland of the building, is in that room. Uh, but so are Tom Morello and Steve Van Zant, and you know a variety of musicians and industry types. And that's where the action is. And every year they meet for a day or two. And as I understand it, very confidential. Each person gets the opportunity to maybe maybe present one, maybe three. I don't remember how it works. Candidates and they debate it. They debate it and try to come up with a list, roughly of about fifteen nominees. Um, it is my sense that a lot of those you know kind of questions that you're asking, those trains have left the station. I mean, that group is is looking for a diverse uh, mix of uh, you know genre, sound color and gender. Um, and, and so, you know, they come out with a list of roughly 15 nominees, and then there's a vote. <clears throat> and uh, I do get a vote because I'm on the foundation board, but most of those votes are cast by inductees. Every inductee, every band member who's been inducted gets a vote. For, so there's seven, 800 people who vote. And the game plan is to get down to five, you know, the top five or six who will then be inducted. You know, some of the challenges over the years, as I understand it, just interestingly, is there may have been a diverse group that came out of the nominating process, but the people who voted voted for, you know, kind of the same kind of people for a while. I think there's a real sensitivity now to make sure that, you know, we're not just bringing in, you know, great bands from 1968 or 1973. Right. They're not a bunch of old white guys. 